Republicans. Are you worried that that sort of white grievance politics is going to be hard for you to overcome? Uh, Joy, we're going to win this race. We already had 800,000 people have already early vote. We're shattering all records. I think people are waking up to say, oh, my goodness. How are you feeling heading into tomorrow? Well, we feel great. The early vote was 1.2 million, was so a huge turnout we've seen in the early vote, and I have a nice lead in the early vote, but we got to get folks to come out tomorrow. Huge enthusiasm, a lot of excitement. So we've got, got to get enthusiasm up, and huge enthusiasm, a lot of excitement. So we've got, got to get enthusiasm up, and our folks are really fired up. We've got, got to get enthusiasm up. So <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at the same time, McAuliffe is sort of showing Democrats how to run. He I will predict, and you can have me back Wednesday, I predict it will be the largest <laughs> non-presidential turnout in the history of Virginia. So, okay. <laughs> We're going to win. We're going to win. <laughs> Democratic nominee Terry McAuliffe appears well-positioned to get his old job back. A number of polls show him in the lead in Virginia's gubernatorial race. New polling from Roanoke College shows McAuliffe with a seven-point advantage over Republican challenger Glenn Youngkin. In a recent Washington Post Star School poll, McAuliffe is leading with 50 percent of the vote compared to Youngkin's 47 percent. The average of the polls in Virginia right now still has Terry McAuliffe, the Democrat, leading, but that's inside of two points. NBC News has determined that when all the votes are in, Glenn Youngkin is the governor-elect of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Right now, we have a big lead in the yeah. early vote. The race, a toss-up. A recent poll finding 49% of likely voters favoring McAuliffe, 48% Youngkin. And for Republican Glenn Youngkin overnight, voters electing the political newcomer to lead the Commonwealth of Virginia. I, now McAuliffe still leads, uh, has a narrow lead at this point, 49 to 45 percent, as you see here. Victory in Virginia for Glenn L uh, Youngkin. He declared victory shortly after the Associated Press called the race just after midnight. Now the poll has Terry McAuliffe at 49 percent and Glenn Youngkin at 48 percent. Now his win represents a seismic shift in Virginia politics. And just as the pundits predicted, it was a close race. Check it out for yourself. Now McAuliffe still leads, uh, has a narrow lead at this point, 49 to 45 percent, as you see here. Now the polling also reveals a tightening lieutenant governor's race as well. Democrat Hala Ayala leading Republican Winsome Sears, 48 to 44 percent. We now have a call for the lieutenant governor of Virginia, the Republican Winsome Sears, will become the lieutenant governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Democrat delegate Hala Ayala leads former Republican delegate Winston Sears 48 to 44 percent. Is it was a huge risk and a bad, obviously, tactic for uh, for uh, for McAuliffe to bring out the former president Barack Obama, his uh, Stacey Abrams, who was the rock star of Georgia, to bring out Jill Biden, to ask Kamala Harris to cut a tape and go to 300 you churches. Him more than it helped him? I think there's no doubt about it because the people of Virginia wanted it to be about Virginia, right. and he's saying, "Well, you might not like me, but look at how look at how sure. popular my friends are." Right. And in the end, now they all lose. They go down with McAuliffe, and actually, President. Obama Obama worked in New Jersey, and man, that didn't help. I think it's all Joy, I restored more voting rights than any governor in American history. And if you remember, I got sued, taken to the Supreme Court. But you know what? There's 277,000 people can vote here in Virginia. They could not vote eight years ago. And just into the newsroom, more than 200,000 convicted felons now eligible to vote and run for public office in the Commonwealth. Today, Governor Terry McAuliffe announced the executive order that makes it possible. Joy, I restored more voting rights than any governor in American history. And if this story in Virginia is amazing to me because you have, what is it, nearing 2,000 people who are ineligible to vote, uh, not legal American citizens, and instead of being instead of this being investigated, it's actually being covered up. Using a, a law called Motor Voter, which I know you know about, mm. we made public information requests to uh, about 22 local election officials at Arlington, Fairfax City, Alexandria, big, big places in Virginia, asking for the names of aliens that they caught on the rolls, maybe by accident. They didn't want to give it to us. We had to go to federal court to sue Alexandria we finally got the list from eight counties in Virginia, 
Prince William Loudon, that's Dulles Airport, just south of D.C. And what we found was astonishing. Over the last couple of years, there have been, just in these eight counties, over a thousand aliens caught on the rolls who registered under motor voter using the DMV form. They said they were a citizen, they lied. And these are the ones we just caught by accident in only eight counties in Virginia. And, and meanwhile, to make it worse, the State Board of Elections under Terry McAuliffe is instructing local election officials to not give us the information in all of the other counties. Remember, we asked for 22 counties, we only got eight. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more aliens out there. And these are the only ones they caught by accident. And so the, the, the problem of alien registration and voting has got to reach in the thousands, if not the five figures in Virginia. But also, as you know, Joy, I restored more voting rights than any governor in American history. And if you remember, I got sued, taken to the Supreme Court. But you know what? There's 277,000 people can vote here in Virginia. They could not vote eight years ago. People remember what I did as a governor, leaning in, lifting everybody up, giving people second chances. The Republican Party now is just a party of, they just tell lies. What the fuck you just say, Nick? Uh, the, the election was stolen. The uh, in, in, insurrection was, uh, wasn't an insurrection. We have to deal with that. I think we have to find an effective strategy to, to uh, have the American people understand that they're just, they have nothing but lying right now. Uh...